Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have some candy boxes created with the awesome new Perfectly Plaid Christmas Paper Collection. It's an awesome paper collection in both 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 sizes that works great for all of your Christmas and holiday themed projects. I'm going to use three of the patterns here with the candy box die. This was released a while ago, but I think it's perfect for creating little candy or gift boxes for the holiday season. And I'm going to die cut three different patterns. Each pattern or color combination comes in like the standard plaid and then the plaid at a diagonal. I'm using the red in both of those styles so it's the exact same color just one is more straight on plaid and one's at a diagonal and then I'm using the diagonal plaid that has a little bit of green in it. There's also some great teal, greens, all kinds. You could create a whole bunch of candy boxes. I kind of tried to stick with the tr traditional Christmas colors. I'm going to be decorating each of the boxes with a stitched label stamped with a sentiment and then I'm going to be adorning it with a reindeer that has been stamped, colored, and die cut. Now, after you die cut all of the pieces, and you're gonna need two per pattern to create a box, I like to fold it on the score lines and then use a bone folder to get that crease nice and crisp. So you fold it in half, there's the ends, and then the little tabs that stick the cute little boxes together. Go ahead and grab the coordinating piece for the other half of the box. Do the same thing to that. These Teflon bone folders are great because they're not going to leave marks on your paper. Just going over all of those creases really well, or those score lines really well, it's going to make your box stay together and go together so much easier. Then I take my adhesive and I place it on the tabs on both sides. So those little tabs on each end and then that long side. With the candy box, it's so great because you just lay it flat, line it up, go ahead and adhere those two pieces together. I like to fold it down again and go ahead and fold or press that in place and then just pop the box into shape there. And then I kind of like to play with those ends a little bit because they're all gonna need to fold in. You'll tie them up with some string or some ribbon. I'm gonna use some lawn trimmings twine. This is the natural twine. I'm gonna tie around each end. And as I worked this box, I kind of had to pop it out just a little bit with my fingers and I'll show you that. I'm gonna go ahead and tie that in a little bow. I'm going to leave the ends long until I get it exactly the way I want it to look and then I'll trim them all at the end. Go ahead and do that to the other end of the box and then I'm just taking my fingers, placing them inside the box and kind of popping it back out into shape. For whatever reason, this first box did not want to go together. The other two really didn't do this. So I'm just going to pop that back out, nice little candy box shape. These would be great, yes, for gifts, but you could also create an advent calendar out of all of these, put numbers on them and have countdown to Christmas for children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, or just for yourself. You could make a whole bunch of these, place them in a candy jar or something to decorate. There's lots and lots of ways to use these box dies. I think they're so fun. I'm going to take the deer images from the new Cherry Christmas stamp set and also one from the last year's Toboggan Together stamp set. I'm using the Misty to stamp them all at once and also stamp them about three times, one on top of each other, using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Gives you nice, crisp, black stamped images outlined there. And then I'm going to color them in with Copic markers. I am using my favorite color combination, E40, 43, 44, and then 49 for the darker parts like the antlers and the hooves. And I'm going to color in these deers. So cute and fun. I love them. I love that the two new images from this year, which are the two here on the left, the one on the left in the center, perfectly coordinate with last year's from the Toboggan Together stamp set. So if you want to create a whole scene card, 
you could do that because there were two from Toboggan Together and there's two from Cheery Christmas and they all coordinate so nicely together. You could create all kinds of fun scenes with these adorable deer. A little R00 for the cheeks. I will also use a little R00 for the insides of the ears. All three deer are gonna be colored exactly the same. I'm using the same colors for all of them. Keeps it easy, darkening up the antlers there so you get enough of a contrast between the deer itself and the antlers. The Cherry Christmas also has a great little stamp and die cut of Christmas lights that look cute strung through the antlers of that deer. I even thought it would be fun to use some of the accessory images. You could adorn the boxes even more if you wanted to. So the lighter areas on the deer, which are the, like the face, the underside of the tail, are gonna be E40 and E43. The main area or of the body on the deer is E43 and E44. I went over those a couple times, building up the color, um, adding enough definition so that it's really um, nice and dark. There's enough of a contrast between the light areas on the face and then the rest of the body. And then of course again, the hooves are darker and so are the antlers. I'm gonna take the coordinating dies from Cheery Christmas and Toboggan together, line those up, use a little post-it tape or a low-tack tape to hold those in place and run them through my Sizzix Big Shot. I'm also gonna die cut one of these stitched labels dies. This is the oval die. You could use any of them you want. That first die cut just didn't cut very well, so I'm gonna to have to run that through my machine again. I need three of those. I'm gonna do three candy boxes here for this particular video. Go ahead and pop all of these deer out while I go ahead and die cut my label. To make this even quicker, if you don't want all of the labels to be exactly alike, there are three different shaped labels. Go ahead and put all three of those labels out and run them through with one pass at the machine and you'd already have three labels. I kind of wish I would have thought of that before I, <clears throat> excuse me, before I ran that through my machine three times. Go ahead and move my big shot out of the way because I am ready to go ahead and finish putting together these little labels on my candy boxes. I'm gonna lay out my deer so I kind of know what kind of room I have to work with. I'm gonna use the tiny tag sayings, greetings, they're small, I love them. Um, sometimes you just need a small greeting and these are fantastic. I am stamping each of them with the Lawn Fawn Lobster Red ink. I've got Merry Wishes here. I will also stamp another greeting. I decided to mix it up to make it even easier. You could totally stamp the same greeting on all of the candy boxes you make. This one's gonna be a little something for you. This is my very favorite greeting from this stamp set. And finally, happy holidays on the last one. So there are my labels. I will go ahead and attach the deer to the label and then attach the entire thing to my candy box. I love to add a little black glaze pin to the eyes on critters and noses as well. It just makes them really pop. So I'm gonna do that to all three. You wanna make sure that the glaze pin is completely dry before you handle these it dries pretty quickly, but you just don't want to get your hand in it and smear it. I'm using a strong adhesive again to attach my pieces to the candy boxes. I don't want a chance that they're going to fall off. I like the Glue Glider Pro Permatac adhesive. I also will snip down the long ends on all of the twine around the ends of the candy boxes. That's going to kind of just neaten them up Nice finishing touch so that they aren't too long or uneven. Get that deer placed. 
and there is what they're going to look like. So cute and fun. Um, I used deer, but you could use any of the lawn fawn critters or images. I think the penguins would be really cute. Um, all kinds of fun critters that would just make adorable candy box labels there for little gift boxes or decorations. Go ahead and finish up these last couple. I think it's easier to attach the deer and then attach the whole thing. The first one, I did not do that. I attached the label and then the deer. I think this is a little easier attaching the deer to the label than attaching it to the candy box. Thanks for joining me today for this video showcasing the new perfectly plaid Christmas pattern papers from Lawn Fawn. The supplies I've used to create these gift boxes are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos showcasing Lawn Fawn Christmas and holiday themed stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.